Right, so have we done everything now? No, not the scratcher and the no. monitor. Oh, fucking hell! Voice crack. And the monitor. There are scratches and gorges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Our rooms are completely soundproof, remember? If anything happened, doesn't know where you can know. Perhaps, okay, but yeah, I've done this, but... Bathroom. And on the other side of this door... <sighs> no. I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her... her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Right, okay. Nope. Nope. So it's just her. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... No. But now is not the time... But now is no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrusted into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where did they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Siaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all, s right there, where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is, huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of her hands are totally spotless. So how come she only left her finger? If you look, there's some blood writing, which must have been done with her hand. So it's probably that. Stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so she broke her wrist. That must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. Killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom where they inflicted a deadly wound. I looked past Siaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Sayaka do this? Okay, that's it. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Siaka's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. As if it it's as if she wrote it with her with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? One one zero three seven. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So the way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she wrote them by turning her, only her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? Dakota. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the end will end the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced I have no idea what you're trying to say but it's obvious you're not gonna tell me dying message will be added to the truth but a section of your handbook sounds like Kiyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means but honestly I have no idea oh I know who I should talk to 
When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's only one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth but it's section of your handbook. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually I'm referring to the broken doorknob. I heard a doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kayoka said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? For fuck's sake. Huh? What she said? What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it, but all of those toolkits are shut. So... Maybe not. Well, someone might have. So it might be a guy. It's more likely to be a guy at the moment. Because of the toolkit thing. Then again, could have got it from the room. So maybe not. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and that ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girl's bathroom can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. And apparently struck with a sudden realization, she sort of questioned at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew mm. about it. Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. Let's see. Then what about clears? Then that cl clears what up? Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truth but it's section of your handbook. Still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking where the murder weapon might have come from, and also I should look into the DVDs so I could got. If Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Right, so leave here. So... Is there anywhere... Yeah, the trash room, right? Because, um... Not Makoto. Fuck, what's his name? Motorbike guy said might have thrown it away, so garbage room or trash room or whatever. There's a sturdy gate here, no way to get past. Fuck it. That actually scared me then, that made me jump. It's in the line! The trash room! This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up! How do you get this gate open? No, 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 no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Cleaning duty? No, no! No, no. no entry allowed this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Who's on cleaning duty? What? Oh, okay. Well, it's meant to be that. This is stupid. It'd be faster just to go around and ask no, the no, others. You can't go any further. Shut up. <laughs> Annoying fucking bear. <laughs> There's a hatch on the floor. The door went budge. It must be locked. So that's the door back out. It looks like some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Hmm. 
Right, okay, so there wasn't anything in there. Is that a toilet? Like, at the top left. Because it looks like someone doing a shit, but it's also got, like, steam coming off it. Okay, it might be the trial room. Right, let's check out that tape. There's a DVD player. Something, there's nothing inside. Wait, so where's our DVD? What? You said check the DVDs. Alright, right, let's leave here then. Let's see what you've got to say. Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. Really? Listen to me. He probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. Top of the conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on a cleaning duty now. That's wrong. Actually, no. Huh? Okay. Then who is? <laughs> Afumi was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty then. Count on it. Indeed. But we'll swap one on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before too long. When that time comes, I'll be counting on you. Right, Hufimi, where's he? Also, let's go to the one to the shop first. And then we'll figure out where Hufimi is. Where is he? There he is. Let's see what they've got to say though. Biaka, can you tell me anything about cleaning? You no. You're like a child in the woods, you know that? A total waste of space, what do you mean? Taka's the one who has any interest in organising things like that. Oh, good point. Okay, so they're just going to talk to me about cleaning duty, but I already know who. It's this guy. Um, I'm looking for some cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? If that so happens, my could be talk to me yesterday and ask me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, it's going to be fly with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I have no chance to start it. And since we're on cleaning duty, you can you can open a gate in front of the trash room. Here we go. Of course, it's my job to gather up all the garbage and trash into the trash room. And still, like they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so I think you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going all, to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So words, Actually, anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out to the trash room wherever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear, and things would become boring. But boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why'd you want a cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, oh, I I decided for I can care for something. I I knew no one else was going to. I knew no one else was going to. What's the big deal? You liar. I know why you it did it. Like you want to dig through all the girl's trash, looking for, you know, and poking around at it. No way to why are you talking? Oh, that's fucking grim. Kind of what are you talking about? Oh my god, this for two key anime porn. You know what I mean. And hentai, fucking tanking off. There's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe I'll get tired of 2D, then turn to. I will never get tired of 2D! After spending a significant time comparing 2D and 3D, I find Carly choose 2D. 
only thing three gears go for is to shower love and affection on Tuki. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, that's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duties, Sakura can accompany them by from take from picking up the trash and dis to disposing it. What? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, I can never. Anyway, on to another topic. Hey, Fumi, since you're on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm -hmm. Right. So now you tell you want to join my party. Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. So, no, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Oh, okay. So easy. So, Fumi and I head to the, to the trash room. Again. You like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? But I'm gonna put you in my penis and you have to search for it. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside. But he never. What the fuck is he on about? Getting busy living or getting busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please, just hurry up. Okay, 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 leave it to me. If Fumi pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... <laughs> However, Mr. Nayagi... Sorry, you are planning to use your question to destroy evidence, are you? You, you fiend! You planned this all along! No, no. I just want to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. He is pretty annoying, to be fair. Okay, so we have to go that way. Yeah. That's a huge trash can. Is that where we're supposed to put whatever trash we can burn? Well, whatever it's for, it doesn't look like it's hiding any clues. Right, we'll talk to Hifumi once more. Mm hmm, Mickey, I do. We seem to lower down. Huh? Really? <laughs> if you need help with different your experience, call on me anytime. I got all kinds of smart. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, stuff that might help you cheer up. <laughs> Fuck, you know. Fucking hell, that Oh my god! This is the incinerator. It's way in the... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah! And it's on right now! Mm -hmm. Did you see a green yellow by thing that came out for the yes, me? Right here? It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button, get it going, and the other button, turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cooling duty, so why make... So make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on! Very strange. I'm very... I, I'm sure you was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Afumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? The fairy? No, you said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Ah, uh, yes, about that. There can be no mistake. I five got one thing going for me. This my memory. I, feel I remember being abandoned as a child and being bullied on by my people I thought were friends. But mm, I also remember my many suicide attempts. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I hasn't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, oh, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible?
Something on the ground in front of the incinerator. Looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Maybe a hunk of burning lab. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth with a shape... It's part of a sleeve of a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff. That means... This is all that's left of some of the evidence a kid had destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. 